And welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. Hope you all had a good week. So starting off for the UEC on this Friday, the uh, 27th of October. First map we have is Garland Stand, which is the actually first map in the rotation for Harpers Ferry. Uh, right now we have a server pop of 262. For the CSA, who's on the defense, we have 134. And then for the Union, we have 128. Let's take a look at that Union team. Starting out, we have first MASS. We've got SB. Two core. Is in two lines. We have the 20th New York GC, German core. As well as the 22nd Virginia, also GC. We have the 52nd New York. LFL, <laughs> and a Georgia. All right, and let's see. We have Artie. We do have Artie for the Union. Looks like two batteries, one from two core, and the other one from LFL. Let's take a look at the CSA team, starting out with their Artie. They have AGL with one gun under Sergeant Dark. And a second gun under B.A. Bat under Henry Perkins. Let's take a look at their team. The officers in the meeting there in the middle. They have 3rd Alabama. A.N.V. who is also joined by H.D. 56 Virginia. 20th Georgia. I missed the start, I'm assuming. AGL, Alabama German Legion. The NYV, 6 New York. And then Ace Florida, who is joined by SR. And that is it for the two teams. So we are live at 40. This is a note the uh, point of contention for this map is right there. So the CSA is starting right on it. And we'll have to see how the CSA defends and versus how the Union wants to attack. Here we go. CSA is starting to move out. See how they want to set up their defense. Union. Looks like they're still getting organized. Server pop is now up to 274, 143 for the CSA, 131 for the USA, so a bit of an imbalance there. Uh, we'll see if some more people jump in for the Union team. Alright, so looks like Cap Slaughter from the 56 will be watching this left side. And the rest of the CSA team will be forming up here in a defensive line. So you got A and B guarding the Artie. Third Alabama moving off to the right. Got NYV and 8th Florida here moving off to the further right. A little bit of a forward position we have Captain Tiberius setting up his men in these rocks. And as a forward uh, skirmish line, we have Colonel Jumbo with the 20th. Let's take a look at how the Union is arranging their attack. They are sending one element, which is SB under Cap Multi, all the way to the right. And then, looks like they've well, got 8th Georgia under who here has a Springfield. Dean Boy, kind of hitting the center. They are the only two units that really have moved out yet, but the rest appear to be moving right. And first, MS, MASS is also here as well with SB put down a screening line of fire. And then we've got the initial shots coming in. Alright, so it looks like we have a distraction force 
under Ace Georgia. And some 52nd guys are with him as well. They're ampling here that are going to put down some distracting fire while the main Union attack appears to be weighted to this right side. We have both SB and First Mass putting down some uh, suppression fire to keep head down a 56. And you can already see they're already starting to get a traded pretty far. Yep, it's good advice. Get down. You can see the end. Several Union regiments are now moving off to the CSA left. So far, no movement to the rest of the CSA line to keep this. Now, that's what that suppression fire is doing. So these guys don't have an opportunity to as easily see this flanking maneuver here. So good job by SB and 1st MASS to keep these guys down. But Slaughter did see a bit of the issue, as did A and V. So we have A and V moving to the center here. And Slaughter is going to come down to get his guys back into organized. Slaughter's going to redeploy his men to try to intercept that flanking Union force. And that force is going to consist of a pretty sizable force. We've got GC, both elements of it, along with LFL. They have put down a volley. You still have Slaughter with his men. You got A and B is now exchanging fire with SB at first mass, holding down this center position. But Slaughter is facing down a lot of men here by himself. Union has a good opportunity to uh, isolate him and knock him out. We got Jack Stone leading the GC. At least the 22nd element of it. Looks like the 8th Georgia attack has kind of petered out a bit. The only action now is going on this far right side, as well as that center volley fight. Here comes Jack. He is positioning, and they are attacking. I missed the attack. I'm sorry about that. So a good maneuver here by the Union. Now A and B is going to try to stop them. Good shots by A and B. A and B putting in some good attacks, but that has opened up a gap. Ulti is going to try to take advantage of it. But now Parker has also redeployed. So Ulti is going to get a nice shot here into the backs of A and B. They're going to have to get out of there. Or they're going to get wiped out pretty quick. Now Park is going to try to intercept SB here on this wall and give A and B a chance to get out. Also additional support here was brought up by Fritz, who is now putting fire on the Union. So two core has also moved up here for the Union. So most of the Union team is now down in this corner. You have some elements fighting up, maneuvering up here. Let's take a look at who's coming up. All right, here's Bean Boy. He's still looking to uh, put some pressure on the CSA on this side. He's going to run to AGL, who is in a dug-in established position. 
Yeah, yeah. Keep shot. And HEL will win that fight pretty decisively. All right, so meantime, the CSA has now cut off the retreat of the Union here and has gotten them forced into a box here. In the church, but it is a defensible position. So we got Colonel Weber here, commanding the 20th. The CSA is reforming, and they are now putting more weight down on this far side. So far, there isn't really too, too much in the way of Union reinforcements coming down. So the CSA may have an opportunity to knock the Union off of this position. And CSA is well ahead on tickets at 31-30. And you can see the Union start to maneuver to try to reestablish some kind of position and keep themselves from getting, as you see, they're kind of getting even more and more squeezed in this backyard here. So you can see the 20 is trying to reorganize back out in the corn and open up an angle. And we have some reinforcements now flowing in. It is additional elements of the GC. Like we do have another Union attack, though. This one coming down the center this time. And this time it is ulti. Looks like he thinks that now that the uh, all the CSA attention is over on this side, he can hit the Artie and get a strong oh, position God. here. This Union left, CSA right. Unit to a white. There's a yeah. unit to a white. Like, that Artie's looking at him. Fuck, man. That'll do some damage. Come on, boys. Alright, so Ulti has decided to hold this position here on the corner. So his flank is a bit in danger, not only from the arty, but Tiberius has seen the movement, and here he comes. He's going to try to knock out the SP before they can maneuver off. Here he comes. Catch the back end. Alright, while that was going on, CSA has retaken this yard with some very impressive volley fire coming in here. Here's third Alabama. It looks like LFL is gonna exfil its troops along with GC. So, CSA has reestablished control of their far left side. It has made the Union pay for it pretty badly. And they have also won with that AGL charge against SB. Have maintained control on their right side. So, so far, good defensive play by the CSA. Um, yeah, the imbalance, unfortunately, is still a little bit off. Uh, Trollman imbalance. So, not making it easy uh, for the Union, but not insurmountable. Still have first uh, MASS sharpshooters here, putting down some fire and some targets of opportunity in. Excuse me, sir. Got a bit of a cold going. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Alright, so now the CSA has plenty of time to reset up and they have his 20th Georgia oh, yeah, the picket line. Let's reestablish this forward position here on these rocks. Many? Not yet, not yet. 
Is Jumbo telling his men not to give away that position too early? My boys on me. Double quick. quick. Jumbo, go, go, go. He's gonna push his men forward. Try to catch the Union. Off guard. Go, Union is now Brent, at engaged. Brent. He's gonna try to catch. First MASS. Get him, boy! In the back. Hello, There you go. And Looks he succeeds. Oh, so he's got a problem now. He's got to get out of there before two court catches him. Already giving a shout out there, trying to cover their retreat. And it looks like a good chunk of the Union is now massing towards the center. CSA is still maneuvering out here. Tiberius has got a forward position out here. He's tangling with the Artie as well as Mr. Weber here. Union has pushed, LFL has pushed its already up. Get a better firing position. That has forced AGL to abandon that advanced position. A floater put in some fire behind him. Let's take a look at the CSA. So they've got two elements here on this left side. You got Slaughter. And on the far left side here, we got A and V. Uh, He's watching this back door. The rest of the CSA is oriented. It's right side. Okay. <laughs> Alabama's getting aggressive. They have disrupted and pushed back this already position. They haven't moved all the way forward. Looks like they got some other elements moving forward. Here comes Tiberius. <laughs> He's going to get hit by the 20th. Got some good shots in there. That rock. Trying to disrupt this already position for putting out too much fire. You also got the 20th here. Squaring off against that already piece. Thank you. There's two of them. Let's see if we can get that last guy. Dude. And they have pushed off that already crew. Nice job by 20th there. All right, so it looks like we do have an attack going on. Ulti has moved up and seized the center again. Now A and B, Killer's going to maneuver his men to try to cut them off here. Nice flank attack there by the A and B HD element against SB. They're going to charge in. We have another attack going on as well. Jack Stone and his guys, but they got swamped by 3rd AL. And the CSA will win both of those fights. We have a third fight going on up here. A lot of action going on. Alright, 20 and Georgia has pushed up. As has AGL. All right, the imbalance is continuing to get worse. Yeah, ten man imbalance, I would say, is, is still. Achievable when, once we start getting into the uh, 15 range for this population, it, it, it becomes very difficult to work. But the union is not giving up. We can still play. See how well they can do.
Uh, Colonel O'Hara here put down a volley. Il y a deux régiments. LFL, the Colonel Hamas here, trying to fight a little bit on this left side. Got 8th Georgia trying to defend the Artie battery a bit. They get a shot off and push off this uh, CSA element that's in front. 20th Georgia. Very close engagement here between LFL there to Alabama. And we have an attack down the center here by Weber. He is joined by his compatriots, Jack Stone. They are going to capture this center position and orient to deal with A and V and HD who's going to come down the road. Now I can see them. Big time. Big time. Big time. And that has forced uh, 22nd to come back a bit. Okay, we got the uh, CSA maneuvering here. We got Mr. Fritz. Trying to get an angle on Weber. Nice volley in there. Got a couple team kills because HD was charging in, but I think they killed more enemies than friendly, so. And that will push back the Union. Can I get a Oh, they just fucking did it. No. Yeah. We get that flag? Yeah, the flag. So I'm not saying much. Uh, part of it's a coal, part of it is 18 imbalances is, is tough, but I won't dwell on that. Here comes Mr. Parker. He's joined by SR. He's going to try to hit them in the side. Nice flank attack. Go 
Park is going to hit and run into SB. Kind of run out of steam there. But the CSA is now squeezing the Union and forcing them back further and further into these woods so they can't uh, make any moves at right side and keep the bottle up. Focus southeast for now, gentlemen. They're down the hill. Easy target. Nice ambush here by Mr. River. And he is catching the A and B HD force in the flank. He is joined by his other compatriots here. But we got another maneuver here. Here comes Slaughter. He's going to try to outflank the flankers. I don't think they see him. Yeah, here comes Slaughter. Nice attack by the 56 there. That has enabled A and B and HD as well to push up here into this corner. So the CSA continues to tighten that noose around the Union. Got 8th Georgia, 52nd, along with El Lavelle here trying to hold this position on these rocks. Get hit from multiple angles. And H. George is going to pull back a bit. And that's going to expose 52nd and L. Val here to more fire from their right side. We have another movement forward here by the Union. Here comes two core. They're going to try to hit HD and A and B, but it looks like they reacted in time. That will melt away that attack by two core. Got Mr. O'Hara here trying to get the remnants of two core back together to put down a base of fire.
Sorry I'm not saying much, but, um... I'll call it out as I see it, but, uh, oh, it's... it's yeah. Oh, 16 imbalance. Numbers are important. Stop, guys. Just balanced uh, on the sheet. Not necessarily the admin's fault. Well, the event organizer's fault, I should say. Jack Stone trying to find a flank. Advance by two core. As they both try to fight for the flank here. Just good attempt by two core. Good awareness there by A and B H D. And a further element here. Colonel Weber went even further, and A Georgia went even further. So Union is trying to find the flank here as best they can. Two core here, kind of tangling with A and B, disrupting them, stopping their attack. Across the field. Here comes Weber. Alright, so two core has lost their fight against A and B. Now Killer's gonna take the rest of his force here to mess with Weber. They are singing. They know the score at the moment. And remember, they try to get his men out of there before Killer hits him. Twenty-one imbalance at the moment. Chest height, boys. Just high. Here comes Williams. We can see with third out there. He's going to try to ambush the GC here. They will succeed in that objective. We have a far flanking element out here. And so, remnants of the 20th reforming on that far right side. And then you got 8th Georgia here on these rocks. They are tangled with multiple elements here. It goes 56. Oh, wrong group, wrong group, wrong group. Yeah, hey, <laughs> killer's down this way. Fire. Yeah. Oh, 
Alright, here we got uh, SB doing a charge into AGL. So, I got in between. I'll, I'll just say it. So, based on the uh, the pops, what was planned, you mean brought what they were expecting to bring, CSA brought a whole lot more. So, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, I it kind of it's good to see more players in there. Uh, I always want to see bigger servers, it's just when it's not accounted for, it kind of makes the game less fun for everybody. It makes it less fun to play, it makes it less fun to watch. It's unfortunate. Moskin a nice ambush in. Trying to press push off the third Alabama. That has attracted the attention of 20th, who's going to turn to shoot. Oh, he's going to pull back too. Now Williamson's going to try to counter charge. You can tell Parker's from the south, he doesn't like unions that much. Despite that imbalance, the Union has pushed the tickets down to um, taking losses for the CSA. So uh, they've kept up the attack. Here comes John Beck. Beck, old, Beak, old. I should say. Oh. Independent fire. 50 seconds. Fire. Try to put shots into the CSA's backs as they uh, redeploy. Here comes the CSA. Enemy ahead! Enemy ahead! Here they come. Two course charging in to help him now. Here comes GC. I 
And that's it. I'm um, glad to see both teams kept fighting despite the imbalance to try to keep it fun. Um, hope the other teams had and, um, a good time. I can't really talk much on the overall strategy. I, I saw some nice flank maneuvers, some nice mutual support, so good job on the individual um, team level and good job on the uh, units maintaining their discipline, no rambling, staying together as good cohesive units, so uh, that's off to both teams. Uh, we'll see what we got for the second map. It is a contention map, so um, hopefully they'll have some balancing before that happens. Uh, we'll see you all for that one. The ticker go down here for casualties. Six oh six to ten sixty. So, see you all in the next one.